Breaking news right now in the search for the remains of two missing mothers in Oklahoma. Officials say they have found two bodies but are awaiting official confirmation on their identities. Four people are now in custody in connection with their disappearance. They face multiple charges, including first degree murder. Nancy Liu has the latest. Congregants of Hugoden First Christian Church are grieving following Sunday service with prayer and hymns outside the family home of Jillian Kelly. After two weeks of hope, two local families now know to mourn Kelly, a mother of four, and Veronica Butler, a mother of two. There is disdain for the four people now charged with their murders. We read in the Bible that evil is in the world and some people that don't know Jesus Christ are full of evil. As a Christian, we should forgive, but we also have to have the laws of the government take over too. Facing first degree murder, kidnapping and conspiracy, 54 year old Tiffany Adams, her boyfriend, Tad Cullum and Cole and Cora Twombly. OSBI is not revealing details about what happened or the alleged actions of each suspect, but a custody dispute may be linked to a motive. Tiffany Adams is the grandmother of the two children Butler was on her way to see on March 30th and Adams was fighting against more visitation. A court hearing was set for this Wednesday when Butler was expected to seek full custody. Kelly was among four court-approved supervisors for Butler's visitations. They never made it to the usual pickup point, an abandoned gas station in Texas County. That is where we spotted an extraordinary show of law enforcement as they served the four arrest warrants in both Texas and Cimarron counties. Our News Nation crew, the only network on the ground to capture this exclusive footage, at one point following more than 20 SWAT and police vehicles to various locations. Outside one compound, we heard an officer on a loudspeaker announcing, we have a warrant for your arrest. All officers appeared heavily armed and wary of all who approached, drawing guns to turn people back including us. For the tight-knit community of Hugoton, the healing is just beginning. The four suspects are being held at the Texas County Jail, and there's no word yet on their arraignments. Their alleged actions have left six children without their mothers. Jackie and Eric. Our thanks to Nancy Lou. A news conference is planned for tomorrow at 10 a.m.